Right, so I've just landed in uh, Tenerife in the Canary Islands. Uh, I'm going to try and find the best beaches and the best hikes, the best mountains, that sort of thing. But first, we've got to find out how to get to where I'm staying. I don't really want to take a taxi, I'm trying to find a bus or something. It's going to be a lot cheaper to get a bus, I think. But I'm not in a rush because I'm super early to check into my apartment. sit over here, have a look at the map and work out where to go. So it looks like I need to go to get the bus from there. I need to somehow get down there. I've gone the wrong way. Anyway, I really like the uh, mountains and pools here. bus now to Puerto de la Cruz, which is a little town on the coast of Tenerife, the north coast. And uh, I'm there for about a week. I'm going to do some, uh, some scuba, not scuba diving, snorkeling and uh, hopefully hiking, find some good beaches and see what's there. We'll sort of explore it together. So if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe now and leave a comment letting me know where your favourite place is. Uh, but also if you've been to Canary Islands, I kind of want, I want to know some recommendations as I make these videos, so let me know like what the best thing to do in the Canary Islands is. No idea where I am, but I'm trying to get to the beach. I think, it's, I think I've gone a long way actually. Now I actually don't know anything about this place, I didn't do it. Hardly any research before coming here. So I just literally booked a one-way ticket and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Nice easy destination. Definitely easier than Asia to get around. So I'm trying to find the beach. I'm going to walk along the coast until I get to this giant swimming pool type uh, open air pool thing. You can tell the uh, amount of research that's gone into this. Almost at the beach, but I've on down here because I've just seen this massive uh, artwork on the wall. Thought I'd check it out. It's pretty cool. Lots of beetles. Well, I've seen lots of restaurants that I'd like to try out. But another time, maybe. I'm gonna find the beach first, and then I'll. Uh, be ready to eat a bit later, I think. All I've had today is cashew nuts, essentially. So, I'm going to have to make a very big meal when I get to the apartment. So the beach should be down this way. If Google Maps is to be believed. My first thoughts are it's a very nice, uh, easy, interesting place there's lots of creative things lots of cafes restaurants lots of uh you know artwork on the walls and things there's graffiti but there's also artwork the beach is just on the other side of these buildings oh wow that's a interesting one uh, very colorful I imagine most of these restaurants here will be quite expensive though. Yeah, because they're right on the end, the uh, tourist area. As always, lots of souvenir shops. Canary Island has lots of those. Lots of weird images. Okay, I think we found the beach. But it's blocked off by. No, I think it's over this way. Alright, I found the beach. But I think the waves are really strong because they're crashing over the barrier. And I don't want a repeat of Wales where I got my camera soaked. Oh, crazy waves. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
don't think I've seen waves that big actually. the beach. I'm definitely not going to go swimming in that crazy size of those waves. Anyway, I found a uh, smoothie bar. I'm going to get a smoothie, do some work and uh, get ready to check in. So in a minute I'm going to go over to there where you see that fountain, there's an open air swimming pool thing but first I want to see what's up here. Yeah to be honest there's no, uh, there's no real plan with this trip, I just sort of arrived here and I'm going to see what, I've got a few bits of work to do later but it doesn't look like I'll be able to swim in this water because it's very choppy. I'll show you the waves, that's crazy waves. What I'll probably do is I want to go down there and see what's in those rock pools. But I don't think I can get there. Plus I've got my uh, I've got my bag and everything. Might have to do that tomorrow. Kinda wish I'd bought my drone actually. Would have been really fun to fly it around here. Yeah, I'm not quite sure how I'd get down there. But, oh wow, I can see this camera probably won't pick it up because it's very uh, wide angle. There's a crab on that rock, a big red crab. Oh, there's another one there, moving. Probably can't see it. And another one there. Lots of red crabs all over the place. With red legs. I saw something I saw similar crabs in Fort Ventura actually. More crabs on the rock there. Two big ones. Now what I might actually do is just sit here for a while. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sit here for a while and just uh watch the ocean essentially because it's so oh I love the ocean, it's so nice. Nice to just be around here. It's very relaxing, I find. The plan was just to arrive here and look around and then check into the apartment later. That's literally it. I haven't seen any sandy beaches. There's normally, uh, in the Canary Islands, there's lots of sandy beaches normally, but I haven't seen any so far. It's just been like, it's just been these rocky sort of outcropping bits that you can't really sunbathe <laughs> around or, you know, you can't swim there. However, I have a feeling that that public thing over there, I hope it's public, is where everybody swims. So I'll probably just go there until I can figure out which beach I'm gonna go to. I also have a strong feeling that my apartment is somewhere around there, which is, looks like quite a big and difficult walk because I'd have to walk all the way up that hill. And then anyway, we'll, we'll find out later. All right, that's it for, for now. That's it for today.